A gyroscope is an interesting invention since it seems like it is defying gravity. And the reason is, a normal object, when we hang it freely, is supposed to be pointing downwards. But a spinning gyroscope is able to point horizontal. And the reason is the angular momentum it has. While it spins, it is able to create any direction, it's able to create a force in any direction we give it initially. But what is a gyroscope? A gyroscope is a simple device that is that contains almost all of its mass on a central disk shape of material, like the one we have. But this gyroscope has only two axes. What would happen if we have a three-axis gyroscope? Considering the first gyroscope I presented, it is easy to believe that we have some limited directions to control the gyroscope. Also, we were not able to observe its balancing movements fully, but if we consider the one we created, we are able to control the gyroscope in any direction we want, and we are also observe its behaviors fully. Let's give it a look. This is the gyroscope we created, and as you can see, it always stays in the same direction we did first. What, whatever I do, it always remains in the same direction. Of course, I'm talking about the, the disc. And this is how does a three-axis gyroscope work? As my friend mentioned, when the gyroscope is spinning, it creates a force. And the direction of the force applied depends on the direction of the gyroscope. And to demonstrate this force, we use a car. The force applied on the car is the force is applied both when the car is stationary and when the car is moving. In the stationary case, without the spin, these lines are parallel to the sides of the car. With this spin, as you can see, the car starts to shake. The car wants to go right or left side or forward and backward. It depends on the position of the gyroscope. We know that when the gyroscope is spinning, a force is applied on the moving car that causes the car to move in a different line than its initial path. However, first we prove that when the gyroscope is not spinning, no force is applied on the car. And to prove this, we pull the car and it moves in a straight line. Hold it straight.